barbecue boiler. Act cool. And if you have to act cool, chances are you're not cool. I've been practicing. Yo, yo, muchacho. Well, I'll just be leaning here if you want to talk about cool people and how cool they are. Yeah, you're so cool. <laughs> Whatever. When you have a crush, you just walk around like a feverish klutz ball. Emma, that was the old Baxter McNabb. The new Baxter McNabb is all about making the magic happen. See? Magic. Does the new Baxter McNabb always talk about himself in the third person? Because that's really annoying. The new Baxter McNabb disagrees. What about his crush on Tassie? Oh, Tassie thing's over. Well, maybe not over, but it's a level two crush max. Well, it looks like we're about to find out. Oh. Hey, guys. Heading to class? Yep. You coming, Baxter? Yep. See that certain girl in the hallway? You come up with a clever opening line and say, hey, and it works. She flips her hair. It's just a little crush, totally harmless, right? But not if it's an extreme crush, the kind that pulverizes your heart, turning you into a lovesick moron. Or so I've heard. Today, we're going to study the romantic poets. Uh, Miss Mansfield? Can we study the comedic poets instead? Not a romantic, Mr. McNabb. More of a tough guy, Miss Mansfield. <laughs> right. So what romantic poets are we talking about here? My favorite, John Keats. He was a passionate man who died young, and like all romantics, he really knew the way to a woman's heart. You guys could learn a few things from him. <laughs> now, who would like to read Keats' Ode on a Grecian Urn? <clears throat> Jenna. Um, do I need to know what Grecian means? <laughs> or ode? Uh, uh, um. Mr. Crombie, to the rescue. Thou still unravished bride of quietness, thou foster child of silence and slow time. Time couldn't Silver get any slower right now. Who canst thus exist? Thank you. I'm happy you enjoyed it, Jackal. I meant thank you for ending it. <laughs> Where was the pace, the entertainment value? No quick cuts, no music stings. Uh, hasn't that guy ever watched much music? <laughs> What's this much music you speak of? You're not serious. <laughs> no. But I loves me so much. Well, listen, experimental film gets love too. But what was the point of this so-called film? The director wanted to show the beauty in everyday life. Guy myself once did a short film called Plight of the Single Pant Leg. <laughs> what plight? You put on one leg at a time. <laughs> Class, your next assignment is to make your own experimental film. There's no stars, no scripts, just the beauty in everyday life. Two words, artsy. Artsy. Three more, Sloppy Joe special. This is bogus. There are only two reasons to make a film. In a care after lunch? One, to entertain people. Do you even need me here? Two, to make a boatload of money. Uh, filming people chewing their Sloppy Joes isn't gonna do either. Mm. If you gotta chew your Sloppy Joe, that's your first problem right there. 
Hey, if I zoom in really close, it's kind of like a horror film. Ah! I don't believe it. Jenna Jackovich and Liam Johnson, stars of My Girlfriend is an Alien, break up? GM is over. I can't believe Liam broke up with me on a blog. So unfair, a blog? You thought you had problems. I thought you said ballet was goofy, old-fashioned, and, as arts go, an epic fail. Did I say that? Let's prove me wrong. why we're here. Yeah. No, I mean, no, no. I mean. Your pulse is 450 beats a minute. That's normal, right? For a hamster? Are you sure you have this crush under control? Well, maybe if you didn't talk about it so much, I would. Oh, yeah. Ah! Hey! Oh. Baxter. What are you doing up at 2 a.m.? I can't sleep. What are you doing up at 2 a.m.? I'm just looking for... Uh, oh. Bendy celery, eating rotten vegetables, clumsiness, trouble sleeping. Baxter, do you have another crush? No. Oh, talk to Mama. Mom, I'm a man. Okay, I keep my feelings inside like a rock of masculinity. When I was your age and had a crush, I'd write a poem. Ooh, a poem. Were you even listening when I said I was a rock? Okay, smart guy. I would write a poem to get my feelings out in a safe way, and then I would rip it up. And then the crush would be cured, and I would stop knocking bowls over in the middle of the night as well. I'll clean that up. Right, Max. You did that at your sloppy Joe. That's your first problem right there. This is really boring. It's an experimental film. No, my burger. Where's the hot sauce? So you like my film? Yeah, it could use some hot sauce, too. Is that some sort of experimental film slang? Yes, or terrible. Jackal, this film shows two things. One, that you put zero effort into the assignment. Two, that I'm destined to make a boatload of money. That, that's always my answer for number two. Total lack of inspiration. What you need to do is really commit to being an experimental filmmaker. Commit, huh? Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to commit to my burger. Oh, are you still suffering from your uh, illness? Happy to say it was a 24-hour bug. Hey, guys. Hey, Jessica. No pulse rising. No fever symptoms. What are you doing? I'm checking your blood pressure. Don't you need medical equipment to do that? Turns out, yes. But it seems like you're fine. Maybe I am fine. did you get over your crush on you-know-who so quickly? Let's just say that when you have a fever, you need to flush out the heat, like going into a sauna. You used a sauna to sweat out your crush? Gross. It's better if you just don't think about it. Just leave that with me. And the rest of the student body. No, 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 no! <gasps> Bax, you wrote a poem! You sweat out your crush all over that page. Oh, Should've ripped it up. Dun dun dun. Emma, Emma, this isn't a joke. <laughs> I disagree. Change. 
change of plans, guys. Today we won't be studying cutes. No. Instead, we will be studying this. Oh! I appreciate the enthusiasm for Keats, especially from you, Baxter. But when I saw this unassigned poem written by a mysterious student to a mystery crush in the language of Keats, I thought, does teaching get any better than this? I don't see how it could get any worse. Um, Ms. Mansfield, I don't think the mystery crush is a mystery. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Yes, Jenna, whatever do you mean? Well, I'm flattered because clearly somebody found out that I broke up with my co-star. So they're trying to get with me by writing me a poem. That's only partly ridiculous. Let's go with that. Can't we just study the language, guys? It's beautiful. I've always liked beauty. Take this verse, for example. Sweet girl with your lovely shape. You dance your way through wind and time, out of darkness and into light. Your silent form and star-like eyes demand my words should rhyme. Such beautiful words about me. Yeah, just <laughs> really, really beautiful. Every painful word is true. I really like your dancing. This is the corniest thing I've ever read. You dance your way through wind and time. I can't help it. I just started writing, all my feelings just came out. <laughs> Well, I'd say danced out, but hey, you're the poet. Please don't tell anyone I wrote it. It's in the vault. And I wouldn't worry. It looks like everybody's already found the author. I tell you, it wasn't me. Marcus is using my poem to get girls. Hey, Bax. Well, at least you already got over your crushy clumsiness. Oh, no. It's fine. Jackal, you look, uh, different. Are you trying to say I look like a pretentious, artsy goofball? Whoa, it's like you can see right inside my mind. Cool, because I'm trying to make a film. Later. OK, I'll help you, but only if you follow my prescription. Uh, what prescription? What are you writing? Nothing. I'm just messing with you. In a tough case like this, I recommend aversion therapy. Aversion therapy? Translation, every time you get distracted by Tassie, you get a little aversion. Therapy hurts. It's for your own good. And trust me, it hurts me more than it hurts you. In what world is that true? <laughs> At least I'm cured. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi. Sorry, Tassie. I'd love to chat, but I got to take Baxter to his doctor's appointment. But yes, I have got to go. I have a brain mouth infection. Not contagious. Bye. Did I really just say that? Let me see your handwriting. It's for science, right? What are you doing? Oh, checking handwriting samples. Something I picked up when I guest starred on Forensic Kelowna. Mm. Why? Oh, so I can find out who wrote the poem for me. And then it'll be obvious to everybody that I'm super desirable and clearly the dumper and not the dumpy. <laughs> Jenna, even if you are the dumpy. I am not the dumpy. Everybody loves me. Look at this kid. Say you love me. He's just nervous. <laughs> Jenna, I don't think that this is. Look, I thought that Liam and I had something special. But now it's gone forever, so I need to find out who wrote this, OK? Woo! What have you been cheating? An experimental film. 
but it's turning more into an experiment in suckage. Well, sounds cool. It's not. It's just a bunch of people's faces bumping into my lens. Ah! Oh! That oh. is some dry skin. Hey, what's that? Ah, guess I left it running when I put it down. It's like the point of view of a wiener dog. Wait. Wait. I think I'm seeing the beauty in everyday life. Um, no, I'm just seeing snakes. Well, that's because you're not an experimental filmmaker. The shoes, they're communicating. Oh, I get it. If I squint, it's like they're dancing. I'm not getting it. Dancing. Devin. That's genius. Potatoes, Baxter? Okay. How about pork chops? What, I'm just not hungry. You're still suffering from your crush, aren't you? There's no crush. Baxter is in the... Baxter and a girl sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Mom, if they don't stop, I'm not responsible for my actions. They're learning to spell. Oh, that crush in grade six was really bad, wasn't it? In grade seven was the girl he met on the subway. Grade eight was the volleyball lady. Oh, yeah, she was the redhead, right? I do not have a crush. Na, na, na. And I'm not trying to dance around the subject. Oh, she's a dancer. Fact, she's in love with a dancer. D-A-N-C-E-R. I still don't know who wrote my poem. Too many people like me. Jenna, I don't think that poem's about you. Oh. You'll understand if you get famous. And, of course, it's about me. Sweet thing with your lovely shape. It's actually sweet girl. Whatever. Maybe I'll never know who loves my starfish eyes. So you botched it again. It's actually star-like eyes that demand my words should rhyme. to do to end this extreme crush. Bathing in tomato juice? No, that's skunks. He loves me. Baxter, you have to tell her how you feel. Are you kidding me? No, never. Not a chance. No way that's going to happen. Nada. Nine. Yet. Hey, man, you seen Tassie? I kind of need to talk to her. Yeah, she's in my piece. It's going to be awesome. Speaking of which. Yeah? Nice poem, totally embarrassing, but sometimes a guy's gonna put himself out there like I'm about to do. Tap, tap, your day's begun. Walk now, keep time, keep pace. Keep going, stay busy, stay true. You've got places to go, you're on the move. The shoes are charged. They know what to do. Running. Walking. Dancing. Tap, tap. Running. Walking. Dancing. Tap, tap. You surprised me, Jackal. Film, dance, and music. You went above and beyond the assignment. Nice work. Really nice work. Really? Thanks, Mr. F. Who knew there was beauty in a dirty pair of sneaks? Cassie, I just want to say that I really love your dancing. That means a lot, Baxter. Thanks. It, it moved me so much that I wrote a poem about it. About you, the one on the bulletin board. Yeah, no, I, I heard you wrote that. 
<laughs> Wait, about me? Yeah. Baxter, I, I kind of don't know what to say. I do. Tassie. I think about you all the time. I'm crazy about you. I think what I'm trying to say is... It was nothing. I just pretended I was falling for you as an exercise, you know, in poetry, which I do sometimes when I'm not lifting weights. I get it. One time I wrote a song about my dog, Razzmatazz. Good. Either way, I think it's sweet. Okay, so I ducked it. <laughs> what would you have done? So Baxter, are you bummed? What? No way. Got groupies. Oh, well maybe you are the new Baxter McNabb then. <laughs> and look, the new Baxter McNabb gets extra credit from Miss Mansfield on his poem. <laughs> Jenna! You're looking chipper today. <laughs> and flowers for me? No. They're from Liam. <laughs> Liam got me flowers? Oh, Baxter. <laughs> Turns out the whole breakup thing was just a silly rumor on that blog. Oh, but don't worry. I still think my poem was super, super sweet. <laughs> did, did she just caress your ear? The new Baxter McNabb is going to pretend that didn't happen. <clears throat> <laughs> Hello, ladies. How are you? Woo! <laughs>